Dakin Morrison. For 27 years, I have been investigating underwater mysteries, tracking down freshwater killers in some of the most remote places on Earth. But this is something very different. Welcome to part two, The Shark. Always had two big goals in my life. One, to catch a monster shark equivalent to the one seen in one of the best movies of all time, and two, to not get eaten alive by a shark. Today, we hope to conquer both of those goals. I felt more prepared than ever entering the water today. I spent too long prepping my pole, making sure she was ready to get yanked and cranked. This pole has been catching monster puss fish for a while, but today it's gonna catch something much larger. I've been going after these monster puss fishes for quite some time, and today I'm going after a shark. So I have my pole ready to go, head down to the shoreline where all the sharks are in the freaking world. All I have to do is just catch my bait and I'm gonna cast her out. It was time to fish. Without this sign, honestly, I don't know if I would have ever found my way to the beach. I don't know if any of you guys have ever seen the movie Jaws, but literally, here's, here's the sequel, the, the much better version. All these people have no idea what they're about to witness tonight. 23 foot, of, how about a 26? I was supposed to fish yesterday. And here I am literally battling fucking tsunami waves. The water was so rough compared to the day prior, but that is not gonna stop me. I am positive that rougher waters mean larger sharks to catch. But first, I must bait thy hook catch our fish our bait fish which means time for old decking to take a little swim uh, if you're ever on the beach looking for some fish to use for a shark bait just come to the shore because it's likely to be found oh my gosh shark bait i know i couldn't believe how easy it was to find my bait either but maybe i will get lucky again and catch a world record shark now do i know how to cast this is the question no no. The hook is baited. It's time to cast. Confidence is high, but that cast was awful. It took me two tries, guys, but I did get the line out, and now it is time to hey. wait. That's pretty good. Oh, I bet that's a shark all day, every day of the week. After 20 minutes, nothing hit, and the bait was making its way to the shore. I gave it another long cast and waited until dark for my shark. That was a sick rhyme, eh? By the time night came, I still had no signs of my shark being close. I will say the nighttime does make the ocean a thousand times scarier, and my nuts were definitely in my stomach. It was time to take a few steps back. I'm gonna investigate today. I'm gonna drop this GoPro in this gosh darn... Uh, they probably call it bayous down here. After this, I'm gonna drop my pole in. I realized I need to take some steps back. I was, uh, I was getting my noodle wet before I even knew what the noodle was. Dropping the GoPro in the water below would allow me to, one, see if I could see something that has never been seen before on camera, and also see how deep this little passage was. And right now, I'm literally staring at a prehistoric animal. Drop number two going in. Drop number two felt promising. I thought for sure I was gonna catch something magical here. You know, maybe the god of water himself rub his little thingy thing on my camera, but no. Both sides led to dead ends. It was time to put my pole in the water once again. I know what you're thinking. Dakin, you haven't even caught Jaws yet. Why are you trying to catch the Nile Croc? Well, the answer to that question is that I tend to get a tad distracted by new things, and I wanted to catch something cool. I'm drawing this gator over because I sound like a struggling animal. It's going to be a good cast. That's a good one. These people driving by right now, they just like, I scream, I know what I'm doing. After what felt like a thousand casts, I still haven't caught anything and my dinosaur seemed pretty uninterested. Next car that drives by, I'm gonna act like I caught something huge. Oh my God! <laughs> Dude, I know I just made those people's vacation. I'm gonna go back to that bait shop and said, hey buddy, this ain't catching nothing. He'd say, sir, it's operator air. I'd say, you know what? Your mom was operator air. <laughs> After an hour of more failure, it was time to pack up and move back on to what I came here for, catching the biggest shark possible. This new location is where the big ones are. They clearly don't allow pets here well because you saw what happened to the dog in Jaws. So after a long walk, it was once again time to get this noodle wet. Oh, that is deep. In a little to no time, I'm gonna have a shark on the line. That thing is tight. Um, you see how it's bouncing like that? That's totally sharks and not waves at all. So we just got to keep our eyes open because this this pole could end up deep in the wherever I'm at right now. <laughs> now we just wait and see. The waves this night were vicious. Hope was diminishing fast. The ocean was serving me a big bowl of soup and all I had was a fork to fish with. But after 20 minutes of watching that pole and a few times getting some big tugs that made me about shit myself, I reeled her in. Holy shit! Okay guys, I thought it was a fluke. It turns out my fish head is gone. I gotta rebate. I didn't think I was gonna have to say that. That's actually crazy. But there's an old fishing pole down here. 
where that obviously is where they used to catch all the big berthas. So I'm gonna go recast out there and rebate my hook. With this cast, I was back. I knew I was about to break a world record here. You know, guys, I could definitely cast farther. I'm just scared to death of everything. I'm gonna just nestle her in right there. Oh, there we go. We're looking freaking good. Look. You know, fishing in the same spot that John Smith brought Pocahontas to will always make for a special memory, regardless of the outcome of tonight's adventure. All right, this is gonna be the last cast. This is even, it's getting scarier and scarier as the night goes. Yep. So we're gonna call it, folks. Deep. The last cast had me thinking a lot. It made me realize that, you know, maybe this shark fishing thing is a lot harder than what they make it seem like in the movies. But it also made me think about how blessed I am to be able to do these things and whether or not I succeed or fail, I will be having a blast doing it. So here's a life lesson. If you're failing at something, but having fun doing it, who gives a shit? Down on the corner, out in the street. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna be a lot ankle deep. And I'm gonna say, and then hold the fish.